the son of Lake Tai, um, I'm Lena Wu, daughter of Wu Li Hong. This is Lake Tai. Lake Tai is the third largest fresh lake in China. It is about 870 square miles. It used to supply water to Jiangsu province and uh, Zhejiang province. My father was sent to prison because of talking about pollution in China's Lake Tai. From 1989, um, he became aware of the beautiful environment was destroyed. From 1991 to 1998, my father um, wrote letters to the local government and environmental department to su suggest they should do something to protect environmental. He took photographs and uh, collected uh, some bottles of pollution water and uh, contacted reporters to report the pollution. In 1998, some good people from central government, they created a movement named the Zero Pollution Action. My father wanted to show some truth and uh, some industrial factories to them because they didn't know what is truth and they didn't know where is the pollution, where is the industrial factories. But he was upset because they just uh, punished some small industrial factories and uh, including the factory my mom worked in. So my mom lost uh, her job. In 1999, my father was fired by his boss he wanted the people improve their awareness of environment. But people answered my father, you are so stupid. If the water was polluted, all of us will die, not only you. My father was very sad. In 2000, many students in Wanshi, a very little village in my city, they were poisoned and the schools um, had to be closed. Their fair parents were very angry. They stopped the traffic and they asked my father for help. My father contacted the environmental department and the local government and, and the reporters. The local government, they um, punished some factories. In 2001, my father and another volunteer named Xiao Daping wrote a letter to Vice Premier Wen Jiabao. Wen Jiabao announced the local government he was going to come to my home to um, check the pollution. But the local government, they did something before Wen Jiabao came. They stopped the factories polluting the Lake Tai and they cleaned up the river. When Wen Jiabao was 20 kilometers away from the industrial factories and uh, uh, rivers, they buy all kinds of fish and put fish in the river and they called one man to go fishing there. When Wen Jiabao came, he saw all, all kinds of fish, they swim in the river and uh, many fish, uh, fishermen, they are fishing there. He was very happy. The bosses of factories, they took photographs with Wen Jiabao, then put the photographs on the walls of industrial factories. In 2002, 3,000 fields of rice dead. My father contacted some reporters to report the pollution and informed the local government and environmental department. But the local government didn't like him. They found all kinds of excuses to send my father to jail. In 2003, thousands of fruits, they have strange scapes and a taste very strange. The owners of the fruits, they asked my father for help. My father took the owners to Nanjing to find a um, provincial official to help. Some experts and some professors in the university, they were interested in the issue. They came back with my father and, and they did research about the uh, ground, they found the reason was there were too much chemical elements in the soil. In 2004, thousands of rice died again. It is the second time. And the farmers, they were angry. They broke into two factories. 
my father thought it was very rude. This time, they put my father in jail for two weeks. In 2005, some people from uh, National People's Congress came to all parts of China to check the pollution in all parts of China. And they came to the river, Caoqiao River. The first day, they saw a black river. And then the second day, the local government showed them that the same river. But this time, they saw a very clean river. And the local government told the National People's Congress that there was something wrong with my father's head. My father's crazy. But some of the reporters and some of people, they can't believe their own eyes. So the third day, they came back again without telling the local government. They, this time, they saw a black river again. National People's Congress gave my father a word to praise my father. And this year, my father being China's top 10 environmental activist. In 2006, all of the fish in 10 fish farmers died. The owners, they lost more than 3 million RMB. The same year, the famous international car company named Ford gave my father an environmental award. More and more foreign reporters came to interview my father. But I think, just I think, the local government and the central government, maybe they didn't like this. They didn't want foreigners knew the pollution in our country. Then my father was sent to jail for three years. And in the jail, they tortured my father. After they took away my father, policemen watched us for 24 hours. They followed me and followed my other family members. So they um, used cameras. The same year, Lake Tai has a very big very big, the biggest LG. This time, it is bigger than any years before. In 2010, my father was released. Problems was continued. Despite all my father's efforts, Lake Tai is still polluted. First of all, we need the lake to be cleaned up. We need industries in and around the lake to filter clean water. The most important, we need freedom from fear. We need freedom of speech. And we need personal freedom. We need your help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We really appreciate Ju Zhu Hua, Jenny, and um, Wu Yunlei, Lanya, Lena, for joining us today on behalf of your husband and father, a true hero and champion. And we just want to thank you very, very much, and we will help you. Thank you. Thank you.